Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I want to show you how to make a quick salmon recipe. I call this salmon with ketchup chutney. All you're going to need for this is a few pieces of salmon filet. I'm using the frozen kind. You can use the fresh kind if you have it. You're also going to need some lemon juice, some tomatoes, some onions. You can use carrots or bell peppers. Today I'm using bell peppers. You can use any color. If you want to put a whole bunch of them together, red, green, orange, you could do that too. Now for the spices, I like to experiment with spices I've never tried before. Today it's going to be fennel seeds, but that's optional. You don't have to use it. You need a whole lot of ketchup, a little bit of sugar, and some oil. Now you want to get yourself a baking tray or a baking pan. I lined mine with some foil paper for easy cleanup, honey. All right, can't deal with washing the dishes all the time. <laughs> all right, now you want to put down one tablespoon of olive oil in your baking tray. This is just to make sure that your fish don't stick. As I said before, I'm using the frozen type of salmon filet. All right, now you're going to sprinkle your salmon with all your spices. Black pepper, salt, garlic powder, fennel seeds, cumin, turmeric, I'm using a whole bunch of stuff. But if you are a salt and pepper girl or guy, feel free to just use salt and pepper, that works too. All right, now I added some parsley flakes because I didn't have any thyme. Thyme is perfect with some salmon. And this is what you have. Make sure you season it on both sides. This is fish, so you want it to taste really, really good. Now get yourself a saute pan, and in the saute pan, you're gonna add two tablespoons of olive oil because we're gonna saute all the onions that we've chopped before, the bell peppers, the tomatoes, carrots, whatever that you're using. You're gonna saute that for two minutes, all right? Now after two minutes, honey, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna add the rest of your ingredients. Just give it a quick stir. Add the rest of your ingredients. Add your ketchup and one cup of water. All right, because I'm only using three pieces of salmon, I'm only using half a cup of ketchup and one cup of water. That's it, all right? And you're gonna cover this and allow it to simmer for 10 minutes. That's all it takes. Now what you are looking for is a nice thick sauce. You don't want it too runny because you're gonna spoon it, honey, all over your salmon, all right? That's what you're looking for. You see that nice, pretty red sauce? That's what you're looking for, that type of consistency, all right? You can allow it to cool or you could just go ahead and spoon it all over your salmon like what I'm doing. So easy, that's it. You know what I mean? You could do this when you come in from work, before you go to work, squeeze a little bit of lemon juice on top, and you're gonna bake this in a 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. So that's bake it 400 degrees for 20 minutes. And you should have something that looks like this. Now, in all honesty, I, I baked mine way too long because I was busy chatting away on the phone. I went over the 20 minute mark and my sauce dried out. So just bake it for 20 minutes only. I'm serving mine with some garlic mashed potato honey and some mixed vegetables, all right? Make it look cute on the plate like that. Now, this is a sweet kind of sauce. If you don't like it sweet, you can forget about adding the sugar. All right, this is really good on other meats as well. Now, I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you to my new subscribers for joining me. I really appreciate the love. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to show your support and enjoy this salmon recipe, honey. All right, share it with your friends. And that's it. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.